OK, so in this video, we've got a uniform rod, has weight 40 newtons and length 5 metres. It is suspended by a light string attached to the point C. The rod is held in equilibrium by a vertical force applied at the end B, as shown. Find the magnitude of the applied force. OK, so here is the applied force it's working at B. OK, that's what we need to find. Now, because we've got um, this uniform rod has weight 40 newtons and length 5 metres, its weight will be working through its centre of mass, okay, which will be 2.5 metres either side. Okay? So we've got the weight working downwards, 40 newtons, and that will be half a metre away from C. Okay? So, because uh, to make it the full 2.5 metres to be. What else have we got? Well, we know that this uh, is suspended by a light string attached at point C. So that must mean that there is tension in that string, which in all likelihood we'll need to find as well. OK, so, well, we can find. Uh, whether we'll need to find it or not, we just need to find that force, um, the magnitude of the applied force. That's what the question is asking for. So what are we going to do? Well, it makes sense to take moments about point C, OK? Because if I take moments about point C, then I don't need to worry about the force T, the tension in the string, OK? Because um, the distance of that tension force is 0 from C, and so the moment will be 0. So I don't need to worry about that. So if I take moments about C, because in equilibrium, they've got to add up to zero. So what have I got? Well, I've got this, the weight, the 40 newtons, um, which is working in a uh, anti-clockwise direction. So we've got 40 times half a metre away. And then I've got the force at B, OK, pressing down at B. OK, now that's going clockwise. So that would be negative. F times its distance from C, so 2. And that's got to be equal to 0. So this gives me an equation where I can find F. OK? So what have we got? We've got 40 times 0.5, so 20, divided by 2, so 10. So F must be 10 newtons. Now, should we have needed to find T as well, we could then use um, the, the fact that the resultant force on the rigid body has to be zero. So if I resolve vertically, then I could would have T working upwards. I've got F working downwards. I've got the weight working downwards. That's got to be equal to zero. And so the tension in the string must be 50 newtons. OK? So we could easily finish off the question by finding the tension as well, if we were required to do so. But finding moments about C allowed us to uh, find F easily. If we'd taken moments about another point, so let's say the centre of mass here, then I would have had an equation that involves both T and F. And then I would use that to find T, substitute it into the other equation to find F. It, take, it would take a little bit more time to do. Okay, So choosing to take moments about C worked well for us because then we didn't have to worry about the tension in the string.